Report. I'm Marlon Bowling with you on a Tuesday. We like to call it a crop progress Tuesday following the release of the updated information from USDA. And by the way, they didn't change their uh, corn condition ratings at all again last week, so no surprise there. Uh, let's take a look here at the corn market right now and see what's going on. The weakness continues in the corn. We're sagging a little bit more than on our last report. Here we have the corn on September down three and three quarters in December new crop down two and three quarters now at 318. That's on the low of the day. Just a caution flag for you on the low of the day. September uh, is at 308 and that is one tick from its low of the day. Now on the soybeans, let's go over there <clears throat> on the new crop November contract. Currently 13 lower. We're now trading at 951 and a quarter within two cents of our low of the day there. We're well off our high by 17 cents. And looking at the wheat trade in Chicago, here we have the December contract down two at 395. Kansas City uh, has also had pressure. We're down two and a quarter right at $4 on December right now. On the spring wheat trade in Minneapolis, we currently have December up three at 487 and a quarter. And in the cotton market, we have had a lot of pressure as the storms seem to be avoiding the cotton growing areas. And uh, that would be down 79 points in December at uh, 66.16 on the last trade now. Let's go to the trading floor and uh, check in at the edge of the CME group, see what's going on with Todd Bubba Horwitz. He, of course, is with BubbaTrading.com. And Todd, good to visit with you again. Boy, a lot of pressure in the ag side here, uh, especially in the grain markets here. The soybeans starting to show some significant weakness here. Uh, explain what's going on and what can farmers and traders do about these kinds of prices anyway? Good morning, Marlon. Have you seen my equity? I, it's, been, it's been drifting away with these grain markets. But, you know, Marlon, it, it, we're seeing a lot of pressure. I, I think that obviously corn and wheat are on multi-year lows. Soybeans are right at a, a level that you might take a look at. Again, I, I think there's just so much pressure. But price level indicates that, you know, 950 is a reasonable level with our lows at 943. So you could take a look here at the 950. But the price action has been absolutely abysmal. And what we're seeing is just basically uh, throw the baby out with the bass water every time they try to rally but you see sellers stepping in and a lot of this has to do with what's going on with the dollar now the dollar doesn't appear to be that strong today although it is higher but it's really more tied to if the fed does raise rates we're going to see a dramatic move in the dollar and i, I do say, i said this before i think the dollar is going back to the buck i think the grain markets now are, are taking everything in stride and, and pricing that in now and i think what we need to find here is if you're not having Hedged. You need to w learn how to get hedged. You think, but now you want to look as a as a farmer. You don't want to you don't want to sell here. You need to find a way to either store or hold because here you're really I think selling dramatically at the lows. The risk reward model certainly suggests that there's a lot more upside potential than there is downside potential. Or number one, number two, if you're a trader, okay, you want to you know you, you want you don't want to just jump in because we're at low prices. We need to now to form a base and a foundation. And I think what we're seeing in wheat. After the last couple of days, we just slapped it. We're now maybe seeing it try to hold here. Now, this is a couple of days away before you'd step it in and buy. We need to see a good solid formation built here on the bottom where we can actually de define it as a bottom against like six or seven year lows. That might be of some help, but right now you got to be really careful here. Plus, the fact we've got light volume and we've come into a holiday. So everything is playing against us right at the moment, but look to be careful and don't, don't sell, even if you're not hedged yet. You need to hold on here a little bit and you know you bring up some good points we do have a holiday coming up monday so there will be no trade and we're also approaching the end of the month so sometimes as we say some squirrely things can happen in the market so just be prepared uh, for about anything here in the next couple of days very good points uh todd i want to bring you back here in a moment if you don't mind we'll talk about this livestock trade too because that has has uh, really caused some people to scratch their head on what to do with that situation so anyway we'll pause for a break and we'll come back and talk about cattle and hogs when we come back